Have you seen The Matrix? It was one of the first movies that I really fell in love with and watched over and over again. The film follows a character who realizes that the world he lives in isn't real. It's a constructed reality, and there's way more going on behind the scenes than he could have ever imagined. When I was in ninth grade, I had the same realization. My world wasn't what I thought it was. I spent my childhood doing a whole bunch of normal stuff. Playing Little League with my dad, Xbox Live, all the normal things that kids do. And one year, my parents decided to surprise us by taking us on a trip to Kenya for a safari. And as soon as we landed, my entire family crammed into this taxi and drove to this beautiful resort. And that ride from the airport to the resort, that was when my reality dropped out from underneath me. I looked out of the window of our taxi and I saw people living in shacks. I saw naked kids playing in the dirt. And I thought, what is going on? Who are these people? And why are they living this way? It's one thing to read a book or watch a video about people who live on a dollar a day, but it's a whole different story when you see and smell and are in the actual presence of extreme poverty. Over the next several years of my life, I began to realize that what I thought was normal, what was common to me, was actually really abnormal. One of my Xbox games from my childhood costs more money than what people make in a month. And what my parents spend on grooming and feeding my dog costs more than what some people make in an entire year. When I spent any amount of time thinking about numbers and dollar amounts, I became ridiculously aware of how lucky I was to be born into the situation I was born into. It was troubling. And it kind of felt like I hit this human lottery where I was born into an amazing family in an amazing country. And if you're watching this, there's a good chance you hit the same lottery as me. It may not feel like that because everyone around you has the same stuff, but place yourself on the global spectrum and reevaluate. To this day, I still really like The Matrix, and I think one of the biggest reasons for that is because when the main character, Neo, finds out that there's this whole other tragic world living around him, he at the same time realizes that there's something he can do about it. And he does do something about it. And you can too. There are some very easy, effective, and high-impact ways that you can help alleviate poverty. You can help get rid of malaria for $10, or build someone a house for a few hundred dollars, or even install a well for a few thousand dollars. These amounts of money that are borderline insignificant to you can make a huge impact on someone's life. And why wouldn't you? What could you possibly buy that will last longer than the feeling of revolutionizing someone's life? There's a whole other world out there. Let's do something about it.